I created a cheat sheet for you. My favorite eco cert preservatives would be, even if you are a beginner, choosing your preservative for your product can be super, super easy. What is the best preservative for home crafters? We're gonna talk all about that today, so let's get into it. Unfortunately, what most of you guys aren't gonna wanna hear is that there isn't just one preservative that is the best preservative. In my opinion, there definitely is one, and that is Liquid Dermal Plus, but there, mm, I made a whole entire video talking about it. Washington State possibly will be banning this preservative. Not it specifically, but an ingredient inside it, specifically formaldehyde releasers. They're not quite yet banned, but they are on the potential of being banned. And also there's a lot of countries where there are restrictions with this preservative. So for that reason, it's not the best preservative, right? Um, so we're not gonna talk about that preservative, even though it is my favorite preservative to use because it's water soluble, it mixes in the solutions very well, it doesn't destabilize formulas, which basically brings me to the next topic I wanna talk about is how do you figure out what preservative is best for your product you're making? Formulating cosmetics is a science. So if you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Tara. I've been formulating skincare products for, I'd say at least a decade now. Yeah, a decade. Wow, time has flown. Um, I have an entire series called my Formulating for Beginners series. So if you are new to formulating, I didn't even realize I'm not even talking into my mic. So we got our mic now and Shiggy's chilling back here. So how to choose the best preservative for your product. I created a cheat sheet for you. So even if you are a beginner, choosing your preservative for your product can be super, super easy. My preservative cheat sheet includes 35 different preservatives. In this cheat sheet, first we have the trade names. Preservatives are made up of a bunch of different ingredients, at least the preservatives we buy as home crafters. They're a blend of different ingredients to make a broad spectrum preservative because you need a bunch of ingredients to make a good preservative system for your product. But as of us home crafters, we buy these like blends of preservatives. For an example, the preservative Uxal K700 has benzyl alcohol, phenoxyethanol, potassium sorbate, agua, which is water, and tocopherols in it. I have it organized by trade name and some preservatives have multiple different trade names. Again, for example, Uxal K700, you also will see go by the name Preservative K. So I tried to find all the trade names for each preservative that I found. That way it can make these things easier because I know I have people from all around the world watching me and I might be calling a preservative one name and you guys might be like, dude, I can't find this preservative. And lo and behold, your supplier has sold it the whole time you just didn't realize to look it up by the inky name instead of the name I was calling it. So not only did I list the trade name, I listed next to it the inky name because even though you use Preservative K and I might use Uxal K700, they both technically include the same ingredients inside. Anyway, I also included the usage rate, which this is not something you should actually verify with your supplier when you buy your preservative. Actually, you should verify all this information because just because I found specific information about a preservative from my supplier, it doesn't mean it's the same from your supplier. For example, there is a preservative I found. Yeah, preservative cap two. TKB Trading said it was oil soluble, but Making Cosmetics said it was water soluble. So there are different information from different suppliers because a supplier might have an ingredient under the same name as another supplier, but it could actually be a different type like sometimes there's different versions of an ingredient. I'm sorry if that's confusing, but that's just the way it is. I'm sorry. So I made this cheat sheet. I also list the solubility, if it's eco cert or natural, it's optimal pH level, if it's heat sensitive, it's appearance, formulating tips, shelf life, if it's a paraben or formaldehyde free, if it's for aqueous or anhydrous products, if it's safe for leave on or rinse off, or it's if it's lip safe or eye safe, if it's compatible with anionic, cationic, and non-ionic surfactants, if it's sensitive to ethoxylated ingredients, where to buy it, and the scent. So hopefully having this cheat sheet makes it a lot easier for you to pick out the preservative you need for your product because 
on my channel in the past, I have used Liquid Dermal Plus for mostly all of the formulas I've shared. So this cheat sheet will help you figure out what preservative to use instead of whatever preservative I might use in my video. And this cheat sheet is available to all the patrons in the $5 tier or higher. So if you're part of the $1 tier, you won't get this cheat sheet. You have to sign up for the $5 tier or higher, or you could purchase this cheat sheet on my website, terraleeskincare.com for, I don't know how much money. I haven't decided how much I wanna sell it for. And if you don't wanna buy it, you can just make your own spreadsheet. So for a fun speed round, I'm gonna ask myself some questions and answer them for you guys. <laughs> what natural and eco-cert ingredients is best for watery solutions? And when I say watery solutions, I mean like liquidy toner, face mist types of solutions. The reason preservatives are hard to find for these types of products is because since they're watery, they need a preservative that is actually water soluble. And a lot of preservatives might say they're water soluble, but then you'll go and add them in the water and you'll just see oil droplets floating. And then you're just like, why did they say it was oil water soluble when it's not mixing with water? So then you have to mix it with some kind of solubilizer and it's a whole pain. So let me list off some natural and eco cert preservatives that are going to make formulating watery solutions so much easier. You might have to mix them with a glycol like glycerin, but you won't have to use a solubilizer. GeoGuard ECT, GeoGuard 221, Pixel K 900. And really when it comes to any of these natural eco cert preservatives, I always recommend adding in some kind of preservative boosting agent, even if it's just like an antimicrobial like Lewisidal SF Complete, which reminds me I did include some antimicrobials on my preservative list, like Lewisidal SF Complete, Lewisidal uh, SF, Lewisidal, <laughs> there's so many different versions of those. And I included those that way, I could mention in the chart that they aren't broad spectrum and they should be paired with another broad spectrum preservative. They're just antimicrobials. I included them because they are so popular. People commonly ask me like, can I use those as a preservative? So that's why I included those on the list. And also I think those are good to add alongside natural and eco cert preservatives like GeoGuard 221 just to make them stronger. And of course you need to add an chelating agent, which I have my video all about chelating agents and definitely recommend adding in one of those if you're selling. When it comes to not natural or eco cert preservatives, I recommend Liquid Dermal Plus. That one's my favorite, it mixes so easily. And they also have a powder version of it. I also recommend Soligard PCG, best for emulsions. And emulsions are like lotions, creams, hair conditioners. For eco certain and natural, GeoGuard ECT, GeoGuard 221, Uxil K900, Uxil K903, and Tri-State Eco. Best for emulsions, not natural or eco cert, Liquid Dermal Plus, Soligard PCG, and Uxil PE9010. Best for acidic solutions. So like things like alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids. Eco certain natural, Uxil K903, GeoGuard ECT, GeoGuard 221, and Tristate E. For not natural or eco cert, Uxil K700, Uxil K701, Uxil K703, Uxil PE9010, Optifin Plus, Preservative Cap 5, in Soligard PCG. For foaming products, eco certain and natural, Uxil K900, Uxil K903, GeoGuard ECT, GeoGuard 221, Tri-State Eco, and for not natural or eco cert, Liquid Dermal Plus, Dermabin 2, in Soligard PCG. Preservatives that are safe for the lips, that are eco cert and natural, Tri-State SDHANF preservative, Polyaminopropyl biguanide. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that one. But that one is also recommended to be mixed with another preservative. GeoGuard 221, GeoGuard ECT, and GeoGuard Ultra, also known as NeoDefend. Safe for the lips that are not natural or EcoCert, Uxil PE9010, Phenonip XB, and Preservative Cap 2. Safe for the eye area and not eye drops, but just like around the eyes. And really a lot of preservatives can be safe for around the eyes, but I'm talking more like makeup removers, like things, products you're marketing as makeup removers that you know is gonna get a little bit in someone's eye. Um, because I mean, I've done put like lotion around my eye with just like a Liquid Dreamer Plus preservative and I've been fine. But 
I'm mainly talking things that are might seep into the eye a little bit, you know, don't want to get it in the eye, but if it does, you'll be okay. Kind of like with lip products, like you're not supposed to lick your lipstick and like eat it, but if you do, you'll be okay. Anyway, Eco Serta Natural, Tri State S D H A N F preservative. Again, that other preservative, I can't say, I don't know. Again, it needs paired with another preservative. And GeoGuard 221 for not natural or eco cert that are safe for the eye area, Phenonup XB. S for anhydrous formulas that are eco cert and natural. I actually didn't find one. Um, so if you know of one, comment below. Best for anhydrous formulas that aren't natural or eco cert, Uxal PE9010, Phenonup, or Optifin. Preservatives that are heat safe that can be added like pre-emulsion. EcoCert and natural ones would be Uxal K900. Again, it's that one that needs paired with another preservative. Tri-State SDHA and F preservative and Tri-State Eco. As for not natural or EcoCert heat safe preservatives, there is Galgard Trident S, Phenonip XB, and preservative Cap 5. Preservatives that work in a high pH level and specifically for like liquid soaps. EcoCert and natural would be Uxal K900. And again, the polyamino propyl by guard. I don't know how to say it, but again, it needs paired with another preservative. But if it's in liquid soap, it might be okay. I don't know. You'll need to do your own testing. Works in a high pH, but not natural. Uxal PE 9010. propanol EHG. Soligard PCG and preservative cap two. Overall, my favorite EcoCert preservatives would be GeoGuard 221 and GeoGuard ECT. Those seem to be the preservatives that are EcoCert and natural that work for like a lot of different things. That's the one I at least seen in the most of these categories. <laughs> um, when it comes to not natural or EcoCert preservatives, the ones I always need to have on hand are Liquid Dermal Plus because Liquid Dermal Plus is my go-to preservative for experimenting because I can just throw it in stuff and it doesn't cause instability. It doesn't destabilize anything. Uxal PE 9010. I really like that preservative. It, it was my go-to preservative when I was selling cosmetics. So if you're selling cosmetics, that might be a good preservative to look into. And I paired it with Lewicidal SF Complete and Sodium Phytate as my chelating agent when I sold. Optifin. That's my go-to preservative for anhydrous formulas like scrubs. And then I typically always have some Optifin Plus on hand because I think that's like a perfect preservative for beginners as well. And just to mention another preservative that seems to be pretty great that I've never worked with myself because I can only find it from a UK supplier. I am an affiliate with them. Aromatic.co.uk. They have a preservative called Soligard PCG that I have heard a lot of positive things from Jenna of Raviga Cosmetics. She says it's one of her go-to preservatives. She loves it. So if you have access to that, it's Caprol Glycol, Phenoxyethanol, and Propylene Glycol. That's the inky name. If you have access to that, find that. It's not natural or eco cert, but it seems to be pretty easy to work with. Again, if you wanna purchase my preservative cheese sheet, link down below to my Patreon up in the corner as well. And you'll have access to it if you become a patron or you can just purchase it on my website, terrilyskincare.com. I'll have that link down below up here. Of course, this isn't going to include every preservative in the world, but a good majority of them, maybe not a good majority a good chunk of them, at least. A lot of the ones I could come across and a lot of the most popular ones. Let me know what you think of the cheat sheet. Should I make more cheat sheets for like emulsifiers or surfactants? I have already started cheat sheets for those. I actually started them years ago. I had an emulsions cheat sheet. I was almost done with it and somehow it all got deleted like two years ago. Took me two years to finally work up the motivation to try it again and it is ridiculous how many copies of this preservative cheat sheet I have on my computer because I just kept duplicating it and saving it and creating other copies of it because I was so worried the same thing was gonna happen to this as my emulsion cheat sheet. I remember just one day I had a whole bunch of different emulsifiers on my cheat sheet 
And then the next day I looked at it and all there was on it was BTMS 50. And I'm like, what is going on? Wasn't a good day. <laughs> Wasn't a good day. But yeah, say bye. Say bye to Shiggy. Oh, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake him up. That was really rude of me. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Also, don't forget to go over and check out my Patreon where I post two exclusive videos every single month. So there is a ton of videos you can go over there and binge watch for only $5 a month. You get access to the entire backlog. And for $10 a month, you can get a shout out for your small business. So let's shout everybody out. Naturesmagicllc.com. Naturesfarmgirl.com. Let's Blend LLC at Stardust Bath and Body on Instagram, HimpyGirl.com, ShopLevi's.com, Owl and Lily on Etsy, Skin Lounge Co. on Etsy, BlackPetalBeauty.com, EmbraceBeautyEssentials.com, Legendary Bath and Body, Astari Apothecary, Raviga Cosmetics here on YouTube, ExoreBB.com, PardoNaturals.com, Natural State Skin, TheNatureInUs.ca, NearCatalier.com, use the code on the screen for 20% off, EarthAndAmberNaturals.com, Shark City Naturals, Day to Relax Spa, Crowned Glory LLC, LH Scented Soaps and more, Janae Rose, Health Nut Beauty on Etsy, VelvetTemptations.com, Journey Rose Beauty, CHRBrands.com, Homestead Life Goods on Etsy, VanillaBathAndBody.com, Madhouse Mama Soaps, XPo.com, Mystical Morning on Etsy, Seventh House and Oak on Etsy, and MyCrownAndGlowery.com. Thank you guys so much for your support. Literally, without you guys on the Patreon, I wouldn't be able to continue doing what I do. So thank you so much.